Hi friends, so welcome to yet another session on success factors and here we'll be discussing one of the important difference that we need to take into consideration when we have the started and the last modified on and also appreciate one of the uh, intelligent features of start date uh, when it comes to the deleted entities or the modified entities basically. So let's proceed uh, in this particular session. So since the start date is one of the prominent filters for compound employee for full transmission. So let's consider some use cases here. So coming to this slide. So now here, let's consider the following wherein an employee, there were two job information slices, one that started on January 1, 2020, and the other that was supposed to start on May 1, 2020. The second slice of job information that was supposed to start on May 1, 2020 have been deleted. So there were two job information slices one starting at 1st of January 2020 and the other on 1st of May 2020. The second job slice have already been deleted. So this is deleted and the job information slice one, which was supposed to end on 30th of April has now been extended to 31st of December 9999. This change of deletion has happened on 27th of March. So it happened on 27th of March here, wherein the deletion happened of this particular, on this particular slice. And uh, this particular slice got extended till end of period. So towards the end of March, that is on 27th March, we basically deleted the other entry, which was supposed to be getting active or effective from the upcoming month, that is 1st of May. All right. So we have April and uh, sorry, we have March, we have April and May. So in the month of March, towards the end of March, the second slice got deleted, which was supposed to be started on 1st of May. That is after one month, that is March, April and May. So in March, deletion happened. And the entity or the job information slice, which was supposed to end on end of April, got extended till end of period. So that is the thing, that is the state currently that we have having for this particular employee and the employees 103247. So if we go into the success factors, uh, the employee being Vinita Pandey, and then uh, if we see the job information of this employee, we see that, okay, the information, there has been an update that has happened on Friday, March 27th. And uh, here we can see there is only one job slice. The other one job information slice has been deleted already. Here, as we know, the start date will take into consideration the start date of the deleted record. And even if at this juncture, the second slice of job info is deleted and is invisible on UI, as we saw, there is no visibility of the second segment here. But if we query it with start date greater than or equal to 1st of May uh, 2020, then we will get the results. So this, this slice is not there, which is existing. It is only in the audit record and none of the existing or visible slices have the start date as 1st of May 2020. But even if we make a query of start date greater than or equal to 1st of May 2020, we will be able to get the results with the slice one end date now showing the end of period. Instead of 30th of April, it will show end of period, right? So the start date condition takes historic changes into consideration that is we know. So therefore, compound employee API might return employees in situations that are not immediately obvious to the consumer. So as we could see, uh, it is not very obvious that, okay, why the data is being returned? Because if we look only at the visible segments, we would say that, okay, there is no segment which is starting from 1st of May 2020. But still, start date takes into consideration the invisible segments, that is the audit records. And why does it take that into consideration is a, is a moment uh, we need to spend in order to appreciate its uh, enigma, basically. See, the thing is, uh, start date. Um, so now, let's say we are a replication system. We are Excel system outside of success factors. So we were basically gathering information from success factors. All right. So now what happened is, like in the month of April, when we made a call to success factors, we got the information that, okay, the job slice one, which is job information one 
is active here is it effective because it is going to be effective till the end of april so we got that information that okay yes so we have the information till the end of april and this job information slice is active till that point in time now let's say uh, let's say start date do not take it into consideration the uh, audit records now because the changes has already been happened on 27th of march and we have already deleted the 5th of april entry so now since the replication system has the information that okay the job information slice one is active till end of april so it has not got its updated information so after 27th of march there is no call that has been made to the success factors let's say okay so now in the month of april uh, we get this information that okay uh, yes uh, so now if we try to run uh, in the month of april the query wherein started is greater than or equal to first of uh, april 2020 then we will be able to get the information or not if started is not considering the first of may entry okay so let's try to seek that information so now if we try to make a query from success factors wherein we have the okay let's go into the notepad plus plus and we have the query over here and instead of first of may what we will do is like let's say we will try to make a query for first of april right and let's also take let's also take the session id here okay and put it over here then try to run it now okay so we had for first of april 2020 started greater than equal to first of april we are able to get the data why because it has got the job information stored here wherein there is a deletion that has happened for an start date which is which was supposed to start on first of may 2020 right and uh, so there was a sub suppose segment supposed to start so now with this new information so now we had made a query to success factors that okay give me the information of this object if there is any of this slice started is starting after on or after 1st of april so now if it started was not giving this information let's say if there has been zero information and if because it started do not consider this audit record we would not have got any output here right so we would have got zero result so if there would have been zero result so then what we would have assumed that the job information because this is the information that we got in the month of march the job slice one would end on 30th of april so that is the last information we have after the in the month of may when we would have come we would have not known that okay what to do whether the user is having any job information or not because it has still not got the information that okay this job information slice got extended till 31st of december 9999 that is the end of the period why it did not get this information because there was no data which was outputted uh, for a start date greater than or equal to 1st of april 2020 as simple as that right so that has given us an issue right so then replication the system would not have known that okay what to proceed with further so now since started has been coded in such a way in such an intelligent way that okay if there is a if there is a deletion in the record uh, then the and whenever that particular query is being made on the start date then it gives the current information if the started greater than equal to suffice basically so here we are able to get the data and the replication system still is able to resume to its normal functioning wherein it will be able to course correct and get that information that okay now the job information slice has extended till the end of date rather than only ending at the 30th of april 2020 all right so this is what has been tried to explain over here the, and that is the ideology of uh, compound employee api with relation to start date as it was coded by the success factors development team so the compound employee api must return the employee in these cases because it cannot know whether or not the consumer has filtered out the deletion or shift 
when it was originally communicated by the compound employee api so when the deletion happened on 27th of march for the new slice of the new slice and the which is the important part and the previous job information slice got extended till end of the period so it should be communicated this information right so that is where start date takes into account and the consumer might have filtered out the information at that time because it was not in the payroll period that was currently being processed so then it would have missed the information right so the compound employee api must ensure that the consumer gets the information again when it becomes relevant all right so uh, that is how uh, basically it, it, it works out so start date takes into account the this particular thing with the start date and that is how it is able to get the information so we saw that okay we got the data for greater than equal to 1st of april we let's say we will also get the data for greater than equal to 1st of may because the data which was deleted of the slice was till uh, like that was having the start date of 1st of may so we get the data going further here so now in the same query we could have said that okay why not we would have made use of the last modified on so we could have made use of last modified on as well so but last modified on as we know it works on the on the last modified date of the audit record so here in when we do a query for last modified on greater than 27th of march 2020 we will get the data because that deletion happened on 27th of march but now let's say we are in april okay the replication system now runs for the first of april and now we are relying on the last modified on and if we put in the sorry we are in may and if we put in the last modified on greater than equal to first of may 2020 but since the audit record information that was audited audit happened on 27th of march and it does not happen on uh, the first of may so therefore no data would be returned right so here the point is if consumer which is trying to gather the job info for first of may 2020 using the last modified on the started of the period so it is on first of may if basically the consumer is relying on using making use of last modified on only and it says that okay if there is any modification that happened after first of may or for that matter uh, first of april because if we would have been coding a replication system and which rely on the last modified on then we would say that okay at the start of every month we are getting the current data so now since we are in the first of may so we will say that okay anything which has been modified from the start of the previous month give me that output right so in the month of may i would say that okay give me all the changes that has happened after greater than or equal to first of may it uh, first of april and in the start of the april i would have i would have already been said that okay give me all the data for all the modification that has happened after first of march so this is where like at the start of every month if we are relying on the last modified in of the previous month itself so if we say that okay in the month of march on first of may i would have said that okay give me all the modifications that has happened after first of april then also since the modification happened on 27th of the march we would have not got any of the data in the output so that is what we can see as well over here so if we we'll make a query on the compound employee api for the date which is first of april and try to execute it we do not get any data so this way we would not have been able to communicate to the replication system this change that now buddy uh, this particular employee vinita pande and this employee has to get the information or the job or the salary information as per the job information which is of uh, the started 1st of january 2020 since it has been extended till 31st of december 9999 and not to take off 1st of may or basically there's there is not the case that okay there is no job right now with this particular employee in the month of may all right so uh 
completing this point so it would have not have gathered any information over job information of the employee because change happened in the last period and that change had an impact on the current period as the previous slice got extended so this is an important point that we need to take into consideration and the important difference between the last modified on and the start date so going further so here we are able to we, we are able to we have tried to basically bring out one of the difference in the star date and last modified on so the star date keeps into consideration the historical records of the segments star date and do also compare with those historical records as in this case it compared with the deleted segments star date which was 1st of may 2020 and hence it returned the results last modified on this also keeps into consideration the audit records but from the perspective of when segments data got modified or deleted and not from the perspective of when the segment would have come into effect that is the star date as we saw it matched for 27th of march as that was a date when modification happened and did not match with 1st of may when the segment was to come into effect which star date takes into consideration so this is one of the important considerations and the key differences between the start date and the last modified on and one of the enigmatic features of start and discord date yeah thank you for your patience listening